Hello tech friends, today we're going to talk about the original Worms game which came out in 1995. If you don't know what Worms is, well as it's described here is a cross between cannon fodder and lemmings, both of which we've featured on this channel. But look how many Worms games there have been. It feels like it's been out on every single platform um, throughout the years. You know, it feels like there hasn't been a year where there hasn't been a, a Worms release or re-release or you know, Ultimate Edition or whatever. Um, and it's just interesting to look back and see how it all started. And I've got the demo here, which would have come on a cover disc. Uh, let's fire it up in DOSBox and take a look. Okay, I've actually got this just on the A drive as if it had come on a little disc itself. Let's take a look at the documentation before we start. Let's scroll down here. What does it say about this? Uh, let's go... Down. Okay, so it's a audio quality has been set to 70%. Users of faster machines may wish to change this to 100% by editing the audio quality value in the audio options menu. This version of Worms is still not 100% completed as missing some features, notably network options, more than two player options, rope weapons, including bungee jump, weapon crates, banana bombs, the incredible explosive sheep, selection from four billion random landscapes from 10 intriguing types of scenery complete computer ai skill levels and much more besides see the note about the final version at the bottom of this text obviously they're trying to whet your appetite um and it mentions there about the speed and then it tells you generally how to play the game worms is a strategy game with a difference it appeals to the dark side of human nature Basically, you control your four worms and are at war with up to three other teams. You must try and use the weapons at your disposal in the best possible way, or at least to the most devastating effects. Lots of people will emerge with countless different strategies, but the basic strategy is that you must protect your worms whilst causing as much pain to the other teams as possible. And it says here, <clears throat> worms also differs in that it doesn't take long before people start feeling very close to their little pink chums. <laughs> you start to feel for them as they are blown away and you, are very soon, uh, you very soon start to exact revenge on rival teams at any attempt to kill your beloved team. Right, enough chit chat. Let's get this thing up and running. Here we are, Team 17. Um, and there's a worm there. Looks pretty wormy. Here we are. Okay, because of that little note it said about the audio, let's go into the audio bit here and change this up to 10, which seems to adjust the pitch very nicely. And before we start playing the game, we can have a little look at some of the options that we've got. So, team entry. In the demo, as it said, in the documents, we've only got two teams here. Um, but we can edit their names. So, let's put in, I don't know, ABBA. Um, blur. Picking clearly my favourite bands. <laughs> C. Um, Kata. Tonia. Mm, we'll go with that. Um, and D. Oh, dodgy. Let's go with a bit of dodgy. See, I've labelled them A, B, C and D. So when I'm looking at the play field, I know which order my worms are going to play out in. Because they play out in alphabetical order. Uh, little cheeky, weird old tech tip for you there. Now, next team. Rusty, Clanger, Noggin and Jasper. Um, in other versions, the full version, I think, even of just this uh, first one, you can press the button repeatedly and get random ones on there. Um, but that's fine. Let's leave those as they are. And you can even change the energy levels so you can really muck about. So each of the worms will have health. And as you attempt to destroy them, collectively, you'll bring the team's health down and you're trying to just eliminate all of the worms. Um, so that's worm team entry. Under worm options, we've got game options and there's a bunch of things here that will change uh, aspects of the game so you can change how many rounds to win the match round time in minutes 15 minutes there move time in seconds 60 seconds worm placements random maximum number of mines automatic action replay round time display all sorts of different things that you can edit there and then in the weapon options and people debate this a lot. Which weapon should you have on permanently, which gives you infinite 
amounts of, of uses of those weapons uh, or you can set them so there's only one for instance the airstrike there's only one of those dynamite very powerful you only really want one of those and again in later versions you have more options including only allowing the more powerful weapons to be used as a number of goes have taken place so that you don't you know cause massive carnage right at the beginning uh, there were other things in the audio options there weren't there um, different volume levels and and things like that um, and there are video options but there's very little in there and I'm not sure if in the full version you had more to choose from there um, loads of save options probably not very exciting that one so I'm moving on we've got worm rankings and uh, you've got different worms there and how many points they've got and things almost like a high school table uh, you've got the credits to the people who made the game let's get in and actually play this thing so let's select the teams we want to play one up and two up we'll click on start and one of the great aspects as it pointed out it said there were billions of different uh, levels to choose from um, in this demo there's only two um, you've got the snowy one that we just saw there and we've got the fire sort of hellscape one let's pick that one and we're off straight away abba goes first so you can see your team members there those little blobs of what look like blue tack are uh, mines and if i move to the left hand side you can see where the other team members are and have we got anyone down here jasper's down there he's gonna be tricky to get isn't he um so i'll be playing both teams you'll notice at the bottom of the screen we've got a wind indicator and if i fire certain weapons that are affected by the wind they will move in relation to that as well um, my timer's on the left hand side there 30 seconds to go um let's uh this will be tricky to get a good shot with um with the bazooka here because of that amount of wind um these are all the weapons that you can choose from we'll try and show each of those so let's start with the homing missile actually um let's go for nog in there with 10 seconds left on the clock um i might cause a little bit of collateral damage there oh, oh up it flies oh and i missed so that was a bit of a wasted go but you know i was trying to explain how to play the game so it was a little bit difficult now then what have we got here rusty he's in a slightly advantageous position here in that he can get both catatonia and abba um let's see if we can fire a bazooka and just hit catatonia there and maybe that mine will fall down and hit abba oh oh look at that catatonia's been fired into the into the well you'd say into the water but into the fiery pits of damnation itself um well, it's very emotional. You'll see at the top of the screen as well, you've got the overall um, team health represented and KO in the middle as if it's Mortal Kombat or Street Fighter or something like that. Okay, Noggin. What should we hurt Noggin with? Um, the Fire Punch. Dragon Ball. Let's try the Fire Punch. Another uh, nod to Street Fighter there. Okay. Boom. Take that. Yeah, it hasn't knocked him all the way off the edge. If you knock them off the edge, then they just die. Um, uh, and in other versions there would be actually sort of water you'd be like on an island and I could probably scroll further to the left but that's as far as I can go Clang I can't be happy with that result here I can move around a little bit but not too much and you've always got to be mindful of the time um, let's see if we can drop a grenade over the top we're going over the top and see are these are not so easy to get right oh dear oh that's bad news that's bad news. Noggin's been eliminated. <laughs> that was a terrible, a terrible mistake. Okay, now we've got Dodgy. Let's see, what should we use here? The uh, the shotgun, perhaps? Okay, now you've got to be careful with your movements because you don't want to inadvertently fall off. That's always very embarrassing. Um, let's see if I can shoot Clanger. Oh, I missed. But you get two shots with the shotgun. Just aim down a little bit. There we go. I did hit him there, but probably not too too much damage. And now I'm in a very precarious position. Now Jasper down here. Well, there's not much going on for Jasper. Um, and if I was a boring player, I would stay down there and hide. Um, but we're not going to do that. We're going to teleport into the sort of the field of play. Um, it'd always be annoying if someone just spends all day hiding um, or moving around the map when they could be uh, getting into the action 
Okay, let's see. What other weapons shall we try here? I'll just demonstrate uh, one of the sort of simpler ones. An airstrike, you only get one of these. I'll just click where I want it to go. And, oh, that backfired a little bit. I've got a mine to the face. 45 health taken off me there. That was a mistake, wasn't it? Okay, um, Rusty. Well, he doesn't like that now, does he? Um, shall we fire the cluster bomb? Let's try that. And you'll see at the bottom of the screen, I've got five of them and I've got a fuse. It says three seconds. I can change that with the number keys. So five seconds. And I think if I press plus, I can change the bounce as well. They remove some of these nuances in later versions of the game. Um, but I'll just fire that. Oh, it is bouncy. Well, surely that's going to scupper Abba. And you can see it's a grenade, but it drops into lots of different pieces. So sorry, Abba. It's good night. Um, right, let's see. Who have we got next? We've got Blur. And let's try and kill Clanger with one of the most powerful weapons in the game. Let's try the dynamite. And if I just jump over here. Um, now, with the dynamite, you place it and then you have to run. So you really need to make sure that your exit is clear. <laughs> so let's let's hope that it is. Dropped. Leg it. Leg it. Oh, careful, buddy. Boom. That's hurt him considerably. Take that. Okay, right. Can he exact his revenge? Um, let's... Uh, do, 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 do. Tricky, isn't it? Um, dodgy is probably more likely to go down, I would think. So um, on the other page of the weapons that you've got you've got these things here there's a blowtorch pneumatic drill ninja rope and they enable you to move around the map there's also prod which is hilarious if you can kill someone with a prod that's brilliant because all it does is it pushes a woman that's next to you it doesn't even hurt them so you've got to be able to push them into some danger or off the edge of a cliff something like that um well let's inadvertently press the wrong button there um let's see if we can get over to ah, i'm not sure we can do I'm not sure in this version we can actually jump very well. Um, there's a lot more options to jumping in the later versions. Let's just throw a grenade and see if we can at least get it anywhere near him. No chance. Rubbish. Those explosions look a lot like the Lemmings explosions, I have to say. Okay, right, Clanger. Let's just have a look around. Oh, there's loads of them. Um, let's lob a grenade down there. We'll put a nice big fuse on there. Um just a little a little knock and uh yeah surely that'll kill him he's out okay so there's so many as the, as the documentation said so many tactics to this game that you can employ but you have to employ them very quickly you know it's turn-based sure but there's a timer on everything you do so you know you can't oh that was quite close wasn't it um so you can't muck about um let's just get dodgy with a homing missile there won't have too many of those left this this one hopefully should be more successful because there's less things in the way oh yes oh yes indeed 82 because i got him with the bazooka which would have probably been about a 50 damage and then um also added on there the um uh, the other thing what was it the mine that it hit right let's teleport let's see if we can uh, cause a bit of mayhem over here And then, oh, you see, this is this is what you would not want to have done during a uh, teleport session. Is you want to try and figure out which go which worm is going to play next, because um, essentially I, I was hoping it was someone who wasn't close to me. But look, they're right close to me. That means I can probably dragon ball me off the edge. <laughs> but there's the next worm. Um, and then Dodgy, there's not much of him left. You can see the health at the top of the screen there. Um, doesn't stand much of a chance. At this stage, you'd be forgiven for um, trying to uh, hide, really, if you didn't have much left. So let's follow that homing missile. That's caused a bit of damage. Um, and, of course, there's also an overall timer going on in the game as well. So um, it can actually go to sudden death. I'll show you that. If I press escape, I think I can show you sudden death mode. 
and that essentially takes everyone's health down to one um and that means that it's highly uh you know it's very easy to kill someone so look at this guy if i just walk over the edge you'll see what happens with the mine oh he's gone i won't end up stuck in the ground um and let's see there's also this game really allows you to play practical jokes because if you're swapping seats with another player as they take the seat if you just press enter on the keyboard as they uh um go to go to play it might jump them off a cliff that really is that's bad sportsmanship isn't it that's b bad wormsmanship have i got any homing missile left i don't um do i have an airstrike though no i don't so this is where it really comes down to a lot of skill am i going to be able to fire a bazooka over here using the wind <laughs> no to get that guy um i clearly cannot right what would you do here you'd probably just go for a homing missile and although it's actually quite a difficult shot because there's lots of things in the way you kind of hope that at least um it hit him a little bit but no that was terrible um let's well shall i show you the kamikaze because that's a fun one um i'm just going to kill this little cheeky worm press space he puts on the little hat and look at that, he flies across the screen. He obviously dies because of that, um, but that can be used to take a player out. And um, if you get it right, I think it's possible not to die from it. Obviously not if you've only got one uh, unit of health. Anyway, that essentially is the game Worms in its purest form. Um, and I remember once I played a game um, of Worms where you were only allowed to use grenades and bazookas, and it took... Um, I think it took hours because you you know there's a lot of ground to get through <laughs> um if you've only got the power of a bazooka like for instance if i just fire this bazooka up in the air i mean it's going to move because of the wind um but you know you don't always have that opportunity and grenades of course those are very simple to throw but you have to have sort of line of sight and or you know an idea of where these things go um that's the sort of thing oh look at i mean wow look at that i mean i think that was his team's worm but even so <laughs> so there we go uh that's worms love it uh in the full version yeah you had sheep that you could fire and all sorts of crazy stuff and it gets ludicrous up to i think the best version is worms armageddon um the holy hand grenade features in in one of them and that is very powerful indeed that's a good one um and you get the super sheep as well which you can fly around the screen so um a much hilarity can ensue by the crazy weapons you get to use in the game worms um so i think that's fantastic i think it's one of the most successful series a very enjoyable game indeed thank you very much for watching and i'll see you again soon